We are doing academic advising in Second Life. Every academic advisor at Penn State World Campus is a professional academic advisor, and every academic advisor has a Second Life account and has their own avatar. They are now scheduling advising appointments in Second Life so that all of our online students can come in and actually sit down in an office with their advisor just as, again, just as they could on a residential campus. So we're trying to give them that experience. Every advisor is responsible for two hours per week of coverage, and they're also scheduling appointments in Second Life as well. So, you know, bringing our advisors in and getting them set up and, and um, having them, giving them their own space has really helped them to feel excited about it and connected to it. And they're all really, really enjoying doing that. So that's very exciting. We just started that in February, so it's still very new for us. Uh, we also have a lot of virtual events, so we'll have virtual tailgates. If there are any live webcasts that are going on on campus, for instance, we had a live webcast of the homecoming parade, and we were able to bring that into Second Life and invite all of our students to come and sit down together and watch a webcast of the homecoming parade. I, I do all the building, John, so I, I have um, the responsibility to do the design and all of the building and all of the management of the Second Life Presence, in addition to the Facebook page and group and the Twitter account and, and everything else that's going on as well. Yeah, <laughs> it is a big job, but I, I really love it and I'm really passionate about it, so uh, I feel very, very lucky to have the position that I have. It's really exciting and um, it's, it's wonderful to be able to communicate and connect with the students in all of these different ways. It's, it's really wonderful. Um, the students haven't done any building. We do have one student who um, had never been in Second Life until we started. No, <laughs> I'm not an architect. I've personally been in Second Life since 2004 um, by my personal avatar name, which is Makala Lumiere, and I have my own, my own sim as well. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's something that I'm really passionate about, and I love to create spaces and watch how people interact in those spaces. And so to have this job is, is a really wonderful thing for me. Uh, another exciting thing that we just started this fall, past fall semester, every semester we have graduation receptions on campus for our students. And so this fall we also had a live webcast of our graduation reception brought that into Second Life so students that couldn't travel to campus could see what was going on. But we also had the reverse happening. And so in our lobby where the reception was being held, on our big flat panel monitors in the lobby, we had Second Life up. And so those students that were at the real graduation reception in, in you know, real life, they were able to see the Second Life students as well. And so we plan to do that for every single graduation reception from now on because it was, I think it can be a very powerful thing to have um, one audience see the other and feel like part of it. Yeah, physical graduation, that's better than real life. I don't like the real life term either. So um, really exciting things that I think we're doing and certainly looking forward to a lot more things coming up as well. I think this slide is just some photos of events that we've done. We have the Nittany Lion Shrine. We hired a sculptor. Um, I'm not great with sculpture in Second Life. I can make buildings and that sort of thing, but I didn't want to attempt sculpture, and so we did hire a sculptor to make the Nittany Lion Shrine for us because that's um, a better, uh, better thing to do than to have me attempt to do it. And when you're on campus at Penn State University Park, when you're uh, graduating, that's a big thing to do, is to have your photo taken with the Nittany Lion Shrine. And so we wanted our online students who couldn't make it to the physical campus for graduation to be able to have that same experience. So the photo you see at the top there is several students who were present for a student meeting along with myself and another World Campus staff member. And we took a picture all together on the shrine. And a uh, photo on the left, if there's anyone from Illinois here, I apologize. <laughs> But we had a virtual tailgate prior to the Penn State Illinois game and invited our students to come and we had, you know, a tailgate food and we had a live music performance there as well. The photo on the bottom right is from the homecoming parade where we were watching Oh, sorry, Pip Squeak, I apologize. <laughs> photo on the bottom right is uh the live homecoming parade where students were able to watch with us. Uh and these are just some quotes that we've received from students. 
about what we're doing. And, you know, it's I get so emotional when I see quotes like this because I think it, it makes such a difference for online and distance education students to feel like they are part of the university and, and they say that over and over again with the things we're doing and I think that that alone says that what we're doing is working and that it's really important. Um, I think that when they graduate you want them to have that, that sense that they truly were part of something special and that they, that they really belonged to the university just like every other student did as well. Um, if you have any questions or would like to get in contact with me afterwards, um, here's my contact information. It's my email address, um, Twitter, Makala. And this slide presentation is uploaded to SlideShare as well. So slideshare.net slash Makala if you'd like to uh, visit there or look at the slides again. But I just wanted to thank everyone involved for giving me the opportunity to present and to speak with you all because I know that a lot of you are doing really amazing things and it's it's really wonderful to be such a part of this community so thanks again and feel free to contact me if you have questions thanks much thank you Shannon